The sky's a little threatening on this Thursday, August 26, 2010. Calvin Castan at the South Plattsburgh softball field right next to Airborne Speedway. We're hoping that game number two in the best of three championship series in the Clint County Firemen's League will be getting underway shortly. There's a mix of blue sky amongst the dark gray clouds. And as long as the uh, lightning doesn't uh, happen, we should be able to finish this game. Altona leading in the series 1-0. Well, it's a must-win situation for Alsable Forks. Altona and Alsable Forks right here, right now, on viewer-supported hometown cable. The teams are going to have to provide the umpiring tonight. Denny Bruce Jr. from the West Shazy Beekman Town team was volunteering his time on Tuesday. This is a Thursday, as we said. But uh, you don't see him here tonight. So it's back to the teams providing the umpires. Jared Perrier leads it off with a two-bagger. And they bring up the pitcher, Ken Perrier. Mike Mitchell is the pitcher for Sable Forks. George Goyette is battery mate. At the present time, Lee Garand is calling the balls and the strikes. Hit the straightaway center. Base hit for Ken Perrier, and he's going to send Jared Perrier to third base. Runners at the corners. Bryant Lavallee will run for Ken Perrier. Donnie Laporte steps in, hits it through the right side. Laporte will coast because he knows he's not getting more than one base. Lavallee gets into third, and Jared Perrier scores. It's 1 nothing. And we have Jason Mayette, the batter. Hits it through the left side. Laporte, who can fly, is in safely at third. Wyatt goes to second. It's second, third, two in for Altona. That'll bring Scott Fleming to the plate. He takes a ball. At first base for Alsable Forks, it's Howard Drake. Fleming drops it into left field. It takes a bad hop. Fleming will go to third, and Daryl Myatt will hold him up. So that's 4 nothing, Altona. Nobody out, and Bruce Warren taking a strike. See, at first base is Drake. Second base is Jason Wisher as a base hit for Warren. The shortstop is Bobby Rondo. Third base, Grant Brassard. Uh, there's a team manager, Fred Porter, who uh, sat out last game because he's uh, limping around out there. But just 10 players here. He needed to be in the lineup tonight. Two, uh, two of the players who were here last game, unable to make it. In the outfield for El Sable Forks, you got. Mm, uh, Mike Hart, Dave McKee, Sleepy Pulsifer, and uh, uh, Jeremy Lothar in no particular order. Porter keeps the hits coming. Lothar will pick it up and fire it in. And it's first and second with nobody out. And I'll bring up Bryant Lavallee. While I'm thinking of it, let me point out that last evening, as we're taping this, there was a little ceremony at the Clinton County Legislative uh, Meeting. Misek, I mean, Bryant uh, Lavalley with a base hit, now Lee Garand. And uh, ceremony, a brief ceremony with the people that. Uh, we're caught in that flood. Garen, it's a soft liner. 
in no advance, one down. And I'll bring up the catcher, Daryl Mayette. Oh, pitch coming to him, it's a little bit outside. So they had a little ceremony, the people that uh, Eric, the woman that Eric LaValle jumped in and saved. That uh, flooding incident in Ellenburg. Well, of course, the uh, lady and her two daughters were saved by the Ellenburg firefighters. That's ball four. So Myatt draws a base on balls that loads the bases. Still just one out. And they've batted around. Goes back to the top of the order and Jared Perrier. So they had that ceremony and uh, Channel 3 was there, Channel 5 was there. Somebody notified the media, but didn't tell us. And we certainly could have and would have been there had somebody notified us. So our apologies to the Ellenberg Fire Department and to Eric LaValle in particular. Had we been notified, we certainly would have been there to capture that for, for hometown cable and uh, poster posterity. Sacrifice fly for Mayette Porter will score. Uh, excuse me, for Jared Perrier, Porter will score. Twelfth batter of the inning, Ken Perrier the batter, runners at first and second. Mitchell, a quick pitcher here. Uh, Ken Perrier puts his hand up this time, says calls timeout. Uh, he knows that Mitchell gave him a, a quick one. Line shot to first base. Drake grabs it. So they send up 12, strand two, score seven, hit seven, nothing Altona as we head for the bottom of the first. Jason Wisher made out the batting order and said, I think that uh, Jason Wisher ought to bat first. So he is bottom half of the first. It's seven nothing Altona in a must win situation for all Sable Forks. Game two and a best of three. Ken Perrier on the pitching rubber. Jason, excuse me, Jason Myatt's father, Daryl Myatt, behind the plate. At first base, you've got Lee Guerin, Donnie Laporte's at second. Jared Perrier's at short, and over at third base, it's Jason Myatt. That's grabbed by Myatt. Or one down. Bruce Warren, Scott Fleming, Fred Porter, and Bryant LaValle in the outfield. Now we got John Sleepy Pulsiver. Also plays occasionally for Marty's Carpets in the Adirondack League. Along with uh, several other Pulsifers. Fred Porter will one hand it. Two down. And this will get us to Jeremy Lothar. Lothar hits it on the ground back to Ken Perrier. He fires it over to Lee Guerin. Just in time to get the hustling Lothar. And three up, three down for Al Sable Forks. After one full, it's Altona seven. Al Sable Forks, nothing. Donnie Laporte has let off the second inning with a base hit. We were watching him retrieve a, a ball that had thrown away in the last warm-up pitch, uh, infield throw. And uh, Mitchell, the quick pitcher, <laughs> delivered while our back was turned. Laporte is Donnie Laporte. Gave up on that. If he had gone into second base hustling, he would have been safe. That ball was dropped. Myatt is out. Laporte, uh, I'm not sure why he plays on this team. He doesn't uh, seem to have his, uh, his A game when he's here. Saves it for the Adirondack League, I guess. Uh, no excuse for that. Scott Fleming, the batter. High and deep. 
Very deep. All the way to the fence. Mayette. A little score and Fleming will be held up. Now Bruce Warren, the batter. It's a line shot that'll drive in Fleming. Make it 9 nothing, And it'll get Fred Porter to the plate. Porter, he yanks it into the trees. And it stays on this side of the fence. This one will be foul, strike two. As we mentioned, this park right next to Airborne Speedway on Broderick Road here in the town of Plattsburgh. Gets hit to deep left field. Warren will head for third. He's going to have to keep going because Porter's chasing him. And Warren is forced to score. Now Bryant LaValle hits the first pitch to Mitchell. He looks to turn two. Oh, go, go, go. Throws it. And Misek, I mean, excuse me, Bryant, I keep wanting to call him Bryant Misek. Uh, Bryant Misek's up in the right side campground, camping right now. That's Bryant LaValle. Another runs crosses. Lee Guerin steps in. LaValle's at second. Well, Ali should tag and go to third. He does. Two down. And here's the eighth batter of the inning. It's Daryl Myatt. So eight batters. That means they've got four in to add to the seven they already had. So it's 11 nothing. Hit to third. And Brassard, left-handed third baseman, fires to the first sacker Drake for the out. And it's 11 nothing after an inning and a half here on viewer supported home down cable. Mike Mitchell at the plate. And he's going to lead off the bottom of the second. Ken Perrier didn't quick pitch him. 11-0 Altona. Game two in the best of three championship round. Bruce Warren will one-hand it, one out. Now Dave McKee will step in, look for the first all Sable Forks hit. The sun is peeking out, and that made for big problems two days ago in the uh, right field area. That sun behind those trees. A little better here, probably, I think, when it's overcast this time of the day. Ball four. McKee becomes the first base runner for the Forkers. 24 hours ago, the I'll say before Forks Fire Department was busy at a fire in a garage at the Zometer Sprague Funeral Home. Grant Brassard. Takes a strike. <laughs> Foul ball. Hard hit through the right side. Oh, nice play by Laporte. Oh, wow. <laughs> Perrier was looking to fire the first. <laughs> no way Ken Perrier was going to be there. And Big Aaron had gone for the ball. So a heck of a play by second baseman Donnie Laporte. Two down, and Bobby Rondo at the plate. One on, 11 nothing Altona. That's hit to Mayette. He'll go to Laporte covering. So it's four up, three down. I'll say before it's still looking for their first hit. 
But they got a base runner this time. We're going to the third, 11 nothing, Altona. Jared Puria hits it to deep right center. It's going to be ground rule double. Now Ken Puria. Top of the third, 11 nothing. Altona leads. Hit to the right side. One down. Now we got Donnie Laporte. Pops it up. Strike one. Whoa, nice catch. Bobby Rondo. Nice, nice grab. Took a extra base hit away from Donnie Laporte. Here's Jason Mayette. Strike one. Hit to right field. They, for some reason, they're playing three outfielders and a short fielder. You don't see that very often. I'm going to make it 12 nothing. a three-bagger for Jason Mayette. I get Pulse for playing a short fielder. A good hitting team that doesn't work usually. Better to play four outfielders. Here's Scott Fleming. Hits it. He gets by Pulsifer and it's in the gap. Fleming will stop at second. And it'll be 13 0 Altona. Now you know Bruce Warren's going to drive him in. But we won't count that run just yet because we'll get confused if we do. Hits it up the middle. Pulsifer gets it back in, so Fleming will actually have to stop at third. Runners at the corners with two down. So Fred Porter will have to get a base hit. Just missed. Foul ball. This one looks like it's going to be foul also. And shoestring catch. On a foul ball by Mike Hart. Nice running grab. So they stranded two, figured out uh, two, five, two runs to make it 13 nothing after two and a half. Howard Drake at the plate. In the bottom of the third, the team down by 13. It's a two shallow right center. Fred Porter grabs it. One out. Now here's catcher George Goyette. Chops it to the left side. Jason Mayette over to Lee Guerin. Nice play. Two down. Yeah, the fellow made that nice catch to end the top of the inning. Mike Hart steps in. Two outs and nobody on. He takes a ball. Perrier delivers. A <laughs> late call. 2 0 pitch. That's hit. Nice pickup. Jared Perrier throws it. Out of play. Now Mike Lincoln, the batter. I'm going to call that an E6, so we're not giving all stable forks a hit just yet. But they do have a man in scoring position. Whoa! <laughs> a 
lot of yellow showing on that one, but a nice catch by Jason Mayette. Nothing across for El Sable Forks. Taking them three innings, but they batted around. And we are going to the top of the fourth, a 13 nothing El Sable uh, Forks trailing Altona. There's Bryant LaValle leading off. Top of the fourth inning, his team up 13 0. Not sure what the mercy rule uh, differential is. Adirondack League, it's 12 runs. Some leagues, it's 15. Slow roller, it's going to stay fair. And Drake will put the tag on. One down. And the batter now will be Lee Garand. Base hit. The valley will run for him. Ah, it's Daryl Mayette. Strike one. Top of the order on deck. It's a two right field. McKee grabs. Two down. Bring up the shortstop, Jared Perrier. It's a shot into center field. La Valley will stop at second. Perrier's on with a single. And now Ken Perrier steps in. Line shot to Drake, and he hauled it in. A nice catch by the first sacker. So for the first time in the game, Altona's held scoreless in their half of the inning. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. 13-0 Altona. Colesburg <laughs> called a strike. He's standing there like he's on deck with the bat. Wisher, Jason Wisher at the plate in the bottom of the fourth. To shallow left field. Warren grabs one out. Now we got Sleepy Pulsifer. And there we go, a base hit, Sleepy Pulsifer comes through the base hit, he's going to try to stretch it, he's going to be safe. Now we got uh, Hart here, what's his name, uh, Hart, Hart, Hart. Uh, Dave Hart. Duke. Hart is in for Luther. Man in scoring position. Line to Jason Mayette. Two down. Well hit ball by Hart. Now we got Mike Mitchell. Pitch from Perrier. Warren will grab it. We're going to go to the fifth. It remains 13 nothing. Altona leading. Donnie Laporte, the batter. He starts the fifth with a base hit. And he will be in with a double. There's Jason Mayette. Slow roller, and he'll reach. That'll get us to Scott Fleming. Oh, 
Let me get the. Ooh, takes a good hop. Here comes Laporte. Yeah, shortstop Hart. <laughs> uh, shortstop Hart uh, is in pain. Bruce Warren, the batter. He yanks it into the left field corner. Call a fair ball. I guess so. Fifteen nothing. Fred Porter, the batter, runs the second, third. I want to try that spot. This will get a run in. Warren will advance to third. Sacrifice fly for Porter as Fleming scores. And quickly it get us to Bryant LaValle. Strike one. Foul tipped. Mitchell ahead 0-2. Hit to second. Rashard goes to first for the out. That's two down. Warren scores. And Lee LaValle, I think, is the seventh batter in the inning. Lee, excuse me, Lee Garand is the seventh batter of the inning, and Garand is on. Darryl Myatt steps up and gets a base hit. Fleming will run for Myatt. And Jared Perrier, the batter, he gets a base hit. Ryan LaValle will bounce around and score. Scott Fleming will stop. He was being sent by Laporte, but he stopped. Uh, here's Ken Perrier. He's the 10th batter of the inning. He delivers a base hit. Uh oh. Out at second. There's. Hey, see that short fielder came in handy that time. Balsa forgot to throw to the second to force Perrier. Jared Perrier. Took a base hit away from Ken Perrier. So five runs in. That makes it 18 uh, 0. We're going to the bottom of the fifth in what is probably going to be a five inning game. Dave McKee at the plate. Leading off what could be the last half inning of the season in the Clinton County Firemen's League. Called foul. Knocked down by Myatt. That'll be a base hit. And the batter is Grant Brassard. Into Oh, but they were playing a short field at that time. Porter was playing a short field position. Bobby Rondo. To Bruce Warren. He grabs. One out. They'll bring up Howard Drake. It's going to fall in. Uh, close at second. Bags are full. Game isn't over yet. Here's George Goyat. Bags full. One out. Strike one looking from Ken Perrier.
Third period grabs, two down. Uh, this is a uh, crisscross, I think. Mike Lincoln on deck. Cross delivers the first RBI of the game. It's 18-1. Now Mike Lincoln, the batter. Base is full. 18-1 to score. Mercy rule about to kick in if I'll say before we can't come up with a few more runs. The first game I think it was twenty four to eight. This one will be eighteen one as Fred Porter squeezes it for the final out. So it'll be a two game sweep for Altona. They will defeat the Al Sable Forks Fire Department in Clinton County Firemen's League Championship play. We're always happy when we're able to get the championship game in this league. Uh, the firefighters and rescue people are always there for us, so we try to cover them. There is a trophy behind the backstop, and we assume that'll be presented shortly. Oop. <laughs> Picking our camera up when we hit the on button. There's no presentation, they just brought the Trophy out, and they're going to pose next to it. I want to thank uh, Alan Mitchell, Alan and Julie Mitchell, for renewing their viewer support. Welcome back to the ranks of viewer supporters of Hometown Cable. In the meantime, that's the way it was. August 26, 2010. Thanks for watching, and for those of you like the Mitchells who support viewer-supported Hometown Cable, win, lose, or draw, TV worthy of your support, Hometown Cable.